Morning, you lovely lot. Team Beard on the move today. Wave, guys, wave. What are you hiding for, Fit? <laughs> it's too nice a day to stay in workshop today, so uh, we're up in uh, we're up in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, we've just left the car. Um, we're at Ingleton Falls, which. Uh, a few of you guys know quite well. Uh, I know Big Chris knows this area really well. Um, but yeah, we're just out for a bit of a dander. It's uh, nothing challenging today. We're just enjoying the sunshine and in, enjoying uh, enjoying the Yorkshire Dales. So uh, once we get out of this car park, it's a bit touristy here to be fair. But once we get out of this car park, I'll uh, show you a bit more and we'll see what we can see. Stay with us guys. So we're on the trail now. Nice easy walk. Well maintained paths. Don't think there'll be anything challenging here today. Uh, but it's just nice to be out. Bring you guys along with us. Might have a chat. See what comes, comes to mind. But it's just nice to be out. So I've just switched you onto the onto the tripod selfie stick Uncle Beard homemade special just so I can uh, pan you around a little bit more smoothly and uh, make it look a bit more professional. Long time since I've been here. I think last time I came here with uh, with the scouts, so probably about. So you can see the, the gorge is starting to climb a bit now. Not a bad looking cliff, cliff face that for all you climbers. I don't know if they allow climbing up here but it's quite a beautiful spot really. Apart from all the people of course. Wild garlic everywhere and all kinds of other edibles no doubt unfortunately I'm not the man to ask about that I know one or two I know wild garlic that's probably <laughs> about it so we're munching on wild garlic it's absolutely everywhere Munch on what? Wild garlic bulbs. Some people have just been past and looked at me like I'm crazy because I'm eating eating garlic bulbs, wild garlic flower buds. But it's what we do, in it, guys? So this fallen tree is a bit of a monument, and tradition is what everybody stops and does is uh, hammer a coin into the into the, the tree. And it's literally absolutely covered in coins now. It's probably a few hundred quid there, lads, but it's uh, supposed to give you good luck. And everybody tends to stop and do it. Can't say I agree with it, but some traditions are just what they are.
Right, we're about a mile in. Nothing too challenging. A little bit busy, but it's that kind of place really. Um, well maintained paths. Nice and easy. Plenty of handholds and stuff on the on the stairs and on the steeper bits. Nothing, nothing challenging at all. Um, we're about to cross over to the other side of the river now um, and start the climb up towards the falls. So uh, stay with us. That was a bit of a steep climb that guys, all stairs but got the heart rate going, um, that was the first set of falls, um, <coughs> can't really see how, how high we are to be honest because of the vegetation but we're nearly at the top now, a bit of a above, right we'll just uh, stop to refuel Having some emergency hula hoops and some water, and we are three and a half kilometers in, just over an hour, not too bad. The last, last climb up the steps was pretty steep, but not too bad at all. I'm gonna have another five minutes here, chill out in this lovely sunshine, and I'm gonna crack on. Well, we're out of the gorge now, away from the bigger falls. We're actually up onto the dales. Well, that breeze is nice, it's actually pretty warm today. I would say it's about 25, 25 degrees. So we're kind of enjoying this breeze uh, up on the tops. <laughs> Best a little bit out of breath. Uh, those last set of steps are pretty steep. I'm best asthmatic. But yeah, it was a uh, nice little uh, get the heart rate going again. But yeah, it's really well maintained here. All pathways are great. There's plenty of, like I said, there's plenty of places to stop and rest and grab onto in the, the steeper bits, the downhills, stuff like that. There's all these great little bridges and stuff. Um, it's a nice walk. It's well signposted, you get a map. Map when you arrive. If anybody was not that confident about nav, um, it's worth it. And on a day like today, as I said, when the sun's shining, there's nothing quite like the Yorkshire Dales.
We're about six kilometres in now. I'm back on metal roads. Um, we're about six kilometres in. Pack's riding great. A bit sweaty back, but that's understandable. Seeing as Bright Spark here decided to wear a black t-shirt. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a nice walk so far. Nice steady, nice steady walk. More stairs. <laughs> more steps. More steps. Get more steps. And more steps. No look, some steps. So we're on the second part of the falls now. We came through a farmyard, um, past some toilets and stuff and a, a caravan park. Uh, so we're on the second part of the falls now, so we're almost back at the almost back at the car. And uh, going down some more steps. But it really is a nice place, nice family place. There's plenty of places for kids to come and paddle. Plenty of stops for picnics. Plenty of photo opportunities. And it really is a nice, well-maintained park. Because it is a park, national park I suppose, but yeah. So we're just coming down to this, uh, almost like a, it's like a giant landing. Uh, there seems to be a lot of people, so I'll probably not film much down here. So we're coming up to the end of the trail now. We're leaving the waterfalls behind. Uh, we're coming up to about nine kilometres, not bad. We've got probably another another kilometre to do, which uh, is all easy walking really. It's, it's all it's all downhill, so uh, I think we're all glad about that after them stairs. But yeah, it's been a good one. Enjoyed it. Ready for an ice cream though now. Well, we're back at the car park now, and we're just. Just over 10 kilometers. So it's not a bad little walk that. Stop for some awesome chips and some shandy. So that's it guys, Ingleton Falls. It's been a beautiful day. Weather's cracking for this time of year. And if you're ever over up this way, come and check it out. Cause it's a lovely spot. Right. Well, this is me, Uncle Beard, saying, look after yourselves, look after each other, 
I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, Finn.